Hello guys, it's Shrimp Time here and welcome in yet another video about shrimp keeping. Today we are going to talk about very special uh, thing that happened uh, in one of my breeding tanks. As you can see, we got some black King Kong shrimps and in a matter of fact, those shrimps supposed to be King Kong shrimps, but they shown a special gene they showed a purple metallic gene and uh, lately i was videotaping them and i saw on my macro shots that some of the shrimps got a little bit of this metallic gene and some of them uh, have quite high amount of this purple metallic gene and this is quite interesting topic because as you can see at the first glance of the eye we can see that some of the shrimps won't show any any of purple metallic but in a moment you are going to see a very beautiful female with almost whole of body coverage uh, with purple and there is a question how this happened because at the beginning this pack was king kong pack uh, the shrimps didn't show any of metallic gene none of that coloration of that beautiful interesting coloration and this leads me to the question how we are getting this beautiful color how we are getting this change in the pigmentation of the shrimps as you can see in this shrimp that was in front there is a very special pigmentation and there are some ideas some thoughts that maybe when we are keeping our pack without any addition of uh, new genes to the pack without buying any new shrimps maybe there is some kind of rece recessive gene or some kind of mutation that will occur and will show this beautiful coloration on the shrimps another idea is the idea that maybe some type of water parameters will affect the shrimps the way that they will change the coloration because uh, the place that shrimps usually live don't have the same amount of bacteria don't have uh, the same type type of food uh, we are only trying to imitate same water conditions but as far as as far as i know we cannot do this precisely because the water conditions in natural habitat of shrimps uh, change all the time due to the uh, rain season because when they got the rain seasons where when there is a lot of raining in their natural environment some of the salts some of the minerals are put from the soil in into the water that they live in and the hardness of the water is going higher so maybe due to the fact that we are keeping the same water hardness same ph condition through whole of the their life maybe when something in our tank is changing after the depletion of pH buffer in the soil maybe the shrimps will show off this unusual pattern I'm not sure I would say that that the most convincing the most convincing idea for me is that there's some time so some types of mutations or recessive genes that will show off uh, after a long time i think that maybe if i will if i would put a lot of new uh, shrimps from other sources i wouldn't see 
this type of coloration in my shrimp tank. You can write me a comment what do you think about this topic because it's very interesting for me and maybe maybe one day I will have the knowledge to answer the, this question. Another thing important for me is what I'm trying to do right now because when I saw that I've got this purple met metallic coloration, this purple metallic pigmentation, I will try to do some selective breeding of this pack and I will try to get the whole body coverage with purple metallic. As you can see, there are different shades, different shines on the shrimp. So there is a high probability that this one pack will finish in a couple of different tanks, some of females, so some of males, so that I will try to get the different shades of this pack. And this is beautiful about shrimp keeping because we can try to develop new patterns, try to develop new colors. And the whole fun of shrimp keeping is hidden in this very beautiful, very big genetic probabilities, uh, possibilities to develop our packs, to develop new coloration and to try find something new. This is the greatest fun that we can get from shrimp keeping. And the next pack that I will show to you will show off this great fun because now you can see my red bolt shrimps, but they are very unusual red bolt shrimps due to the fact that they've got very strong, very interesting red coloration, a bit of pinkish, a bit of orange coloration, and they've got this little little red pigmentation going from the bottom of their body and it's quite unusual because when I saw other red bolts I usually didn't see so nice and so strong coloration usually those colors are a bit pale and uh, don't show this interesting pattern and this is another pack that I will try to develop uh, this very interesting trait, try to get those colors pop off, maybe to get a lot more of this red color going from the bottom of the shrimps, as you can see on this beautiful female. She's a great example of this unusual and very interesting coloration and probably she will get another tank and when i will be trying to develop this interesting pattern i will see if this pattern will get more body coverage will it be something stable or is it a trait for some of the shrimps Oh, here you got very beautiful picture of the shrimp that I would like to acquire during my selection process. This type of female got a great pattern and it's something new. And as I said, I'm breeding shrimps more than 10 years right now and I didn't see this type of a pattern yet. So another pack another way to develop and selective breed our shrimps. And this is another thing that we can discuss watching this type of very classic panda shrimps. Because when I was starting the Taiwan bees, the panda shrimps didn't show so much of shadow of this, of this blue coloration. They were black and white. Nowadays, it's very hard, it's very difficult to get those white pandas. Most of the pandas will show off this blue coloration on the place that they should have white coloration. And I don't know like how does it look in your countries, guys, but for example, here in my country, it is 
even in whole Europe, it is almost impossible to get white pandas that won't breed this bluish uh, tint on the shell. They will show off so more or less blue. As you can see on these shrimps, they, they don't have the whole white uh, stripes uh, covered with blue, but they've got this blue coloration popping off. And some of the shrimps, some of the shadow types will get whole white color covered with blue. It is also a bit sad if we are talking about the development of shrimp breeding because we are losing some of the types of the shrimps that we could breed. Of course, we are getting new and new types of shrimps and this is wonderful, but we also are losing some of the classic shrimps of the classic patterns that we used to see in our tanks. And this is very dangerous in this hobby because not many people try to keep the pure lines like you got pearls, pure red line, pure black line. I think that in future, some of the lines will get similar types of shrimps. So people will be concentrated on keeping that classic patterns and trying not to get any other uh, genes going mixed with their herd so that they will uh, be the owners of classic patterns, classic types of shrimps, and those types of shrimps can go up with value in future. Another very interesting uh, development of the genetics of the pigmentations are the boa shrimps, and they show how many possibilities when we are talking about the pattern, when we are talking about the pigmentation there is in the genetics of the shrimps, because we got blue boas, we got blue metallic boas, we got white boas, now we are getting gold boas and all sorts of different, different uh, patterns. Another thing now, a lot of people are working on yellow pigmentation and trying to achieve galaxies boas uh, with yellow pigmentation and also there is the whole line that is being developed with orange eyes or yellow eyes and this is another another lot of possibilities to develop this hobby so guys if you like this type of videos where I will talk a bit about uh, genetics of the shrimps, about uh, shrimp selective uh, process, and I will show off some of updates in my tanks, uh, please subscribe to this channel. You can also support me here on YouTube so that I will be able to make more and more videos for you. For you. Thank you for your time and remember, keep on shrimping. And if you are interested in Blue Bot selection, watch this video.